Hi everyone, welcome back to the React.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about a stateless component. A functional or a stateless component is a just a plain JavaScript function which takes a props as an argument and returns a React element. Function component receives data from props and it's only concerned with UI. Now let's see how we can create a stateless component. So go to the project and inside the project just click on src then components and inside the component just create a new component. Let's say component name is teacher so just write here teacher.js okay just open this inside the teacher component uh, first of all import the react so just write here import react or capital from react okay and now just create a function so just type here const function name which is component name that is teacher equal equal to props error sign then curly bracket start and close inside uh, this component just write here const name name sorry name email and phone okay is equal to prop and just return just write here div and inside the div let's add here the heading inside the history tag let's say teachers details all right now print here the name email and phone so just write here inside the p tag name in curly bracket just write here name which is this name okay now print here the email last one phone all right now here just export export the component so just write here export default teacher right now save the file now add this teacher component to the app.js so just open app.js file and here first of all import the teacher component so just write here import teacher from dot slash components slash teacher okay and here just write here teacher just pass here the props so just write here the name name properties and inside the name property just pass here name let's say teacher email properties and here just write here Peter zone at the rate of gmail.com okay and phone number let's say phone number is this all right now close the component all right now save the file and let's check so switch to the browser and just go to the localhost 3000 and here you can see the teacher components and 
character details okay so in this way you can create a stateless component or functional component so that's all about stateless component so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching